For the last few years, Elon Musk's Tesla has shown why it is the king of electric cars in the progressive automotive market. The Tesla Model Y hasn't stopped selling since its release. You can find this car anywhere in California, despite being more expensive than its alternatives. Meanwhile, the Model 3, its lowest-priced car, is the second best-selling Tesla in the state. Further, all Tesla models will continuously get significant upgrades to satisfy their customers. But the company's vision isn't limited to only cars. Tesla also seeks to become a top player in the production of trucks. Recently, the company unveiled the Tesla Semi. And knowing Elon Musk, he will continue trying to improve until his products are perfect. Watch our Tesla Semi review to brand new all-electric Semi truck. If you like what you see, don't forget to like this video, click the subscribe button, and hit that bell to get notified of new videos. The unveiling happened at the Tesla Gigafactory in Sparks, Nevada. The concept was first introduced in 2016 and caught the attention of consumers. During the event, Tesla Motor CEO Elon Musk explained why the company ventured into the truck market. He noted that many question this move, since the yearly number of trucks produced are nowhere near the annual number of passenger vehicles produced. Musk pointed out that around 100 million passenger vehicles hit the roads yearly, while only four or 500,000 brand new trucks and semi-trucks are made. But despite the discrepancy, trucks make up 20% of vehicle emissions. This figure comes from different factors, such as the time trucks spend on the road and how heavy their usual cargo is. Trucks are just as bad for the environment as gas-powered vehicles, which is a problem Tesla is attempting to address by coming out with an electric semi-truck. Musk says the new Tesla Semi has undergone several tests under different weather conditions. At the announcement, the video shows the Tesla Semi accelerating through thick snow without any problems. Tesla wants the Semi to hit the roads as early as possible to get feedback from drivers and suppliers. The company has always been concerned with what can be done to improve its products. Tesla has claimed that the semis have a range of 500 miles. This is impressive since 80% of trucking routes are 250 miles or less. The company has yet to disclose prices, but it previously said that the 300-mile range variant would cost $150,000 and the 500-mile range variant would cost around $180,000. Considering that electricity is two and a half times less expensive per mile, Tesla estimates that operators will save around $200,000 over three years. The lack of windshield replacements and regular maintenance are also money-saving perks. The Tesla Semi currently has a tri-motor system consisting of three electric motors working separately. Because the front axle is unpowered, the motors are used to power the second and third wheels at the back. And just like the 2021 Tesla Model S, the electric motors feature carbon-sleeved rotors, indicating that Tesla cared to maximize the Semi's output. Also, the electric motors, inverters, heat pump system, and infotainment system in the Tesla Semi were all borrowed from the company's other electric vehicles. One electric motor is given to the first rear axle, which is designed for driving on highways. The other two electric motors are tasked with powering the left and right wheels and are designed to deliver torque and acceleration. The two rear motors automatically engage or disengage from the drive axle to conserve energy. This also means the driver is not required to do anything because the clutches are automatically engaged. Tesla has ensured that the Semi's acceleration and deceleration will come smoothly, even without any effort from the driver. This can be attributed to the Semi's regenerative braking. This feature makes the vehicle's brakes carry power over to the battery every time the driver takes his foot off the acceleration pedal. In almost all situations, the four electric motors on the drive axles will use regenerative braking to stop the truck. This is something engine braking on a diesel semi can't do as often. So, not being able to shift down to get engine braking will not be an issue with the Tesla Semi, which also means the driver isn't the only one benefiting from the safety system, but also the other cars on the road. Tesla admitted that working on the Semi's engineering process was tedious. Tesla had to spend a lot of time in the wind tunnel to make sure that the trailer and the truck were a perfect pair. But in the end, it all paid off. Musk said with confidence that a newbie could drive the Tesla Semi with relative ease. 
adding that it feels like you're driving an average car and not an 82,000 pound semi truck, even when going uphill, due to the high quality performance. Inside the semi, you can see the driver's seat is in the center for maximum vision, and you get two touchscreens. Truck specific features such as tire pressure monitoring, trailer air supply, and parking brake controls are located at the bottom of the left display. In contrast, the right screen contains the traditional launcher in modern Teslas, giving access to music, the phone, cabin temperature, and more. A fully grown driver can stand up in the day cabin thanks to the low floor. It's also nice that everything is within arm's reach. You can even hang your jacket and other types of clothing on the wall. On the left side, you get a wireless charging pad. Other trucks cannot compete with the compartment space provided by the Tesla Semi. On top of that, the driver also gets a good-sized storage for equipment and tools. You would think a unit as big as the Tesla Semi would require a colossal cable to charge, but Musk said a small one would do. The Semi's high-power megawatt-class charger can charge at 1 megawatt DC and can also be used by the Cybertruck. It has liquid cooling technology in the charging cable and shares similar technology with Tesla's V3 superchargers. Tesla also aims to make the Semi go from 0 to 70% in 30 minutes. Charging for half an hour adds 400 miles, lasting for 6 hours. This is important since some areas require truckers to take a 30-minute break after traveling for 6 hours. Tesla also has resorted to producing battery packs to address sustainable power and energy concerns. Battery packs serve as storage for energy in case sustainable sources like wind and solar are insufficient. Musk has previously stated that the mega factory will soon be able to produce 40 gigawatt hours of mega packs a year. The Nevada Giga Factory used to make the mega packs, but the one in California can produce 25 packs a day. The production of mega packs is possible, but distribution will only begin once Tesla commences energy storage projects and installs the batteries. According to Tesla, their semi customers are already utilizing the capabilities of battery packs to ensure that they can continue operations without any issues. Musk also guaranteed that the semi would continue running even after a million miles. This was EV News Network with a report on the Tesla Semi. Comment down below on what you think of Tesla's all-electric semi-truck. Until the next video.